There once was a time when I just didn't know what to do. Then I found a place, my friends, called Camp Caribou. Now I do the Caribou Boogie. The Camp Caribou Boogie. The Boo Boo Boogie. The Camp Caribou Boogie. When you want to find me, you know where I'll be. Let's do the Caribou Boogie. The Camp Caribou Boogie. Okay, time for some announcements. Announcements, announcements, announcements. Well, first we have some good news. Yay! And we have some bad news. Yay! First, the good news. Today we head out on our out trips. Yay! The bad news is it's a 300 mile hike. Yay! The good news is it's downhill all the way there. Yay! The bad news is it's uphill all the way home. Yay! But the good news is we've got a really nice campsite picked out for tonight. Yay! But the bad news is we don't have any tents. The good news about that, though, is that means we can sleep outside under the stars. Yay! The bad news is the weather forecast calls for heavy rain. Yay! The good news is that's the forecast for New Zealand. Here we're going to have clear skies. Yay! The bad news is that means the mosquitoes will be out. Yay! But the good news is we have lots of cheesecloth for everyone. Yay! Now, the bad news is we've never figured out how to use cheesecloth. Good news is we do have insect repellent. Yay! Yay! Bad news is we only have enough for Tom and myself. Yay! But the good news is we can get ready to go on our out trips as soon as we're finished these announcements. Yay! The bad news is we still have a few more announcements. Camp Caribou Challenge. Say this as fast as you can. A knapsack strap. Strap a knapsack, strap a knapsack, strap a knapsack, strap a knapsack, strap. Knapsack, strap, a 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 just getting ready for the old out trip here. I've been assigned the job of getting together all the entertainment. So I've got the uh, boomerang here and the for later on. We've got some books for some little reading. Maybe a sound effect or two. Love for a story. And I'm working on a trick, a disappearing stick trick. You want to see it? All right, I knew you did. What I'm going to do is make this stick disappear right before your very eyes, almost. Stick, just an ordinary stick, right? An ordinary cloth. And I'm going to drape the cloth in front of the stick, right, just like that, and it will disappear. Drape. And I'll say a few magic words. Hocus pocus. It's gone. Thank you. Thank you. Want to see how it's done? I'll show you. See, down here is the stick. What I did was drop the stick after I had the cloth on. Pretend I've got an invisible cloth. Put the stick here, and I bring the cloth up. And just as it's in front of it, I drop the stick in my lap. And I put my finger up, and so under the cloth, it looks like a stick. So you don't, you don't know the difference. And then I pull it away, and it's not there. Watch. I'll make the stick disappear.
And now it's time for Woodsy Wisdom with Uncle Wes. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi there, fellow woods persons. Just getting ready to go on a big trek here. Packing up the old pack. Getting all my stuff laid out. Organization now. Organization, that's the key for wise woods persons. So I'm getting everything ready. I think I have everything I need. Uh, I got my rain gear. Well, here's a sweater. In case the weather changes a little bit, I'll have a sweater. Do you know, do you realize that it takes three sheep to make one sweater? I didn't even know sheep could knit. Ha ha, little joke there. Say, what, what animals should every camper take on their out trip? Pup tents and first aid kits. Ha, huh. well now once you got everything laid out, you want to kind of put it in bags to organize it. Little sacks. Everything in a little sack to protect it, because that's organized. Organization. That's the key for the wise woods person. Well, now, once you got your sacks ready, you want to put them inside a knapsack. Hey, sacks, little bags, in a bigger bag. It's a sack of sacks. A bag of bags. Just remember that. Organization. Now, um... You want to put the lighter things at the bottom of the pack. So I put my sleeping bag down there. You see, if you've got heavy stuff at the bottom of your pack, it kind of looks like this. All the weight's down here, and you kind of got to bend over to balance her off, and you're walking around like this here, and it hurts your back. So keep the weight high around your shoulder area. Well, then you just pack it all up, and you try and put things in the same spot each time you pack. There you go so that you know where it is when you want to go looking for something. And you're not looking around forever. And of course, you try and keep things that might jab your back away from your back area and out the front of the pack. There's that sweater. And the book. And the top, at the top of your pack, you want to keep things that you might want to get to real fast. Like your rain gear. Rudolph the Red Nose Rain Gear. And your first aid kit. There it is and your canteen and last but not least little map so you know where you're going there we go you know there are all kinds of packs there are canoe packs frame packs duluth packs and haversacks say i have her sack have you ha huh. well sling it on your back and you're off away out in the woods alley ho see you later i love to go a wandering just rolling up the old sleeping bag here, got to tie it up at the end, and I lost my long rope that I usually do that with, so I'm taking all these little strands and tying them together, which is not too much of a problem if you know a few knots. Now, see these ropes here they're about equal thickness so i'm going to use the old reef knot to tie them right over left and under pull it a bit and then left over right and under pull it and then pull by the long ends and yeah yeah that's gonna that's gonna hold i think now we move along here and ooh, so i got a skinny one here and i'm going to tie it to the fatter one so i need well i can use the reef knot see and it ties up okay, but watch what happens when I pull it tight. It doesn't work. So I need to use the sheet bend. Yes, the sheet bend, not the sheep <laughs> bend, but the sheet bend. And to do this, I take the fatter rope and make a loop like that, or a bite as we say in the nothing biz. And then I bring the, the skinny one up through the hole there and around the back and then underneath itself. And that's the key, because when I pull it, it actually pulls on itself. So the tighter I pull on that, the more secure the knot gets. So if you're tying ropes of unequal thickness, the sheet bend is the one to use. Make this gonna work. I'll go first. Okay. A knapsack strap, a knapsack strap, a knapsack strap, a knapsack strap, a knapsack strap. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right. Okay, I'll try. A knapsack strap, snack, 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 snack. Hey, I'm pretty hungry. Let's go get a snack. Yeah. Attention, all campers. 
time now to return to your cabins and pack your knapsack. Oh, that's a good tune. I like that one. Play a little note here for the keeners. Yeah, I like that one. That'll be good. We're just getting ready for the big out trip. Yes, sirree. And when we go, we pack it up, bring all the things we need. Well, let's get some packing happening. First, tent. The tent. We're sleeping. Sleeping out overnight. It's good to have a tent. Nice time job, huh? Good time job in sleeping there. Sure, hey, Bob. Now, whenever you go on an out trip, you should take along first aid kit. Got band-aids and all sorts of things in case you hurt yourself. Important half. Right on. And we like to take a little trip journal along, too, so we can record all the cool things that happen on our trip. Here's something that I've just discovered recently I think is great. You know, a even... Hat? Yeah, that's a new discovery. Even though it's the summertime, at night it can get really cold, so you right. put a hat on, keeps your body heat in, keeps you warm from sleeping. That's great. Got to have Oh, and along that same line here, I bring some extra socks now. I got a soaker one time. It's good to have dry feet. That keeps them warm. Sometimes you do, you, you fall in the water and you do get wet, so it's good to have your map inside a plastic bag. Plastic. An all-weather map. Yeah, that will keep it dry no matter what happens to your pack. Okay, cool. Oh. And when we take our flashlight, we pack it in the pack, we take the batteries out, turn them around, so that if the flashlight gets jostled around and turns on, well, it won't waste the batteries. And then, for cooking, we take along a cook stove. Sometimes we have fire, sometimes we have a cook stove, some matches to light it with. And that's good when it gets wet. You have to start fires. Yeah. If we're just about there. Darn near. Oh! We're going to take a little bit of cheesecloth cheese along. Cheesecloth. You know what that's for? I'm not sure. <laughs> I think it's for insects, actually. You kind of put it over top of you when you're outside, and the bugs can't get through that uh, cloth. Cheesecloth. I don't know. We'll try. We'll try. And we're done. I think that's it. Time to go meet the campers okay. for our big out trip. Help me put this one? Yeah. I think that's higher. Yeah. Okay. And I'll take the entertainment pack. There we go. Okay. Well, dark? we'll see you later at the campfire. Bye. Camp Caribou Challenge. Say this as fast as you can. Friendly fleas and fireflies. 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 Friendly fleas and fleas and fireflies. Friendly 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 fleas and fireflies. Like a ping pong ball, I've got a head like a ping pong ball. I've got a head like a ping pong ball. Ping like a ping pong ball. Hi there. Hi. We're just getting ready to go on a hiking trip. On our day trip. But, but first, the caribou credo. We'll follow the path where the caribou walk. Our caribou headgear is off. On. Lock. All right, we're ready to go. Now, what we do when we want to go on a hike is we bring some trail mix. Yeah, some garp, as we call it, so we can eat a little bit along the way. And we also bring along our hiking stick. So it'll help us along the journey. I got my hiking stick now. Yeah, I did that sturdy enough. Pretty good. Hey, the other thing we want is comfortable, sturdy shoes. Good shoes. You know, my shoes aren't very comfortable today for some reason. Maybe I have them on the wrong feet. I don't think so. These are the only feet I've got. <laughs> hey, I've noticed. Why do your shoes say TGIF on them? Well, that's so I'll remember. Toes go in first. <laughs> now, the only other thing we need to take is a compass. Oh, yeah. Because we know we're hiking to the east today, and the compass will tell us which way is east. No, I, I don't think we even need a compass. Why not? Well, the sun is in the sky at noon, and it's kind of in the south area, right? At noon, the sun's in the south, yeah. yeah. So if you're facing the sun, you're facing south, right? Right. And north is on your back. Right. So what's on your left hand? Fingers. I think we better take the compass. I think we better yeah. take the compass. The other thing that's great that we've discovered is we can wear our bandanas on uh -huh. our heads. You know, at first I thought he said bananas. 
My head was a real mess for a long time. No, there. I was put... bandanas. And then yeah. if we get hot during the day, we can just wet up the bandanas, put them on. It keeps our heads cool. Wet, moisture. Bring something to drink. That's what you have to do. Drink as you go, and, and you keep your, your spirits up, so too, you and everything. You have to carry water with you somehow. Yeah. Hey, I used to put plastic bags in my shorts, and I used to pour water in there to carry... But that didn't work out very well. It got very, very messy, especially when we walked through that rose thicket. It was, it, it was, was awful. Very so messy. then we, we've got some containers to carry water in. Here's one here. It's a canteen. Yeah, I ain't got no canteen. Now, where is your grammar? My grammar? She's in Vancouver, but she ain't got my canteen. No, no, no. That was very poor grammar. Listen, I haven't got a canteen. You haven't got a canteen. They haven't got a canteen. Now, do you understand? Not really. No. What happened to all the canteens? <laughs> no, we carry canteens around our shoulders. Sometimes we put a little bit of ice cubes into the water to keep it nice and cold. And if we want to keep it nice and cold all day, oh, yeah. we use our thermos. I love these things. Keeps cold drink, cold drinks cold all day. But that's something I've never really understood. What? Keeps cold drinks cold, right, in the summer? Yes. Keeps hot drinks hot in the winter. Right? Yes. How does it know? How does it know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we should go. Up. We should go meet the others for our out trip. Right, right you day. are. All right. Where are we meeting them? Uh, Where Tom and Mark okay. say? They said, meet at the Big Rock at 1. Okay, let's go. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, it, maybe it was meet at the dock in the sun. Well, was it the Big Rock at 1, or was it the dock in the sun? Maybe it was under the clock for some fun. I'm not sure. I don't... Maybe we should just leave everything here, here for now. Yeah. Go find out where we're meeting yeah. for our day hike. Okay. Bye. Hey, maybe it was bring a sock and tie your bun. Challenge. Friendly fleas and fireflies. 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 Ah, that's a good one. I wonder where everybody is. Yes, we really should have met them hours ago, you know. Let's look for them in the office. Okay, let's go to the office. Here it is. After you. No, please, after no, you. No, I insist. No, please, I insist. No, after you. all right. Hey, this is... I love coming you to the office. Look at the paddles. It's beautiful. Hey, nobody's here. Speak to yourself. I'm here. No, I mean, people other than us. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. Attention, campers. Mail call in the camp office. What was that? Oh, that's nothing to be afraid of. That was just Madam Speaker. It's time for mail call. Goody. Let's read some jokes or something. Okay. Here's one. Go ahead. Why did the dinosaur cross the road? I don't know. Why? Because chickens weren't invented yet. That's from Jamie Norman. Good yep. joke. Okay, this is from Angela Freak. How do you catch a squirrel? I don't know. Sit in a tree and act like a gnat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh, here's one. Another. Here's one from Andrea Marshall. How does a hippo get down from a tree? I don't know how. She sits on a leaf and waits for fall. <laughs> fall! <laughs> okay. More? This is from... This is from Lisa Paul of Kitchener. Um, what is a mosquito's favorite sport? I don't know. Skin diving. Skin diving. Skin diving. Oh, skin, skin diving. Skin. <laughs> Those are great. If you've got any jokes, send them to us, the Keeners. Here at Camp Caribou, care of CKCO TV, 864 King Street West, Kitchener, Ontario, N2G4E9. This is great. Hey, look. A message. It says, Keeners, meet us at the campfire at dusk. At dusk? Yeah. Where's dusk? I don't... Oh, it's down just beyond the cabin. Well, we better get going. Let's go. It's almost sunset already. Come on, brother. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Sing along. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Woo, woo. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Mama don't allow no hand clap around here. That's about it. Mama don't allow no hand clap around here.
Well, we don't care. Well, we don't care. Well, Mama don't allow us to clap our hands in the old house. Mama don't allow no hand clap around here. Now, the great thing about these two songs is that you can sing them together at the same time. And they sound good together. So what we're going to do is split the group here in half, right through there. Everybody on this side will sing, She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain with Tom. Everybody on this side will sing, Mama Don't Allow No Hand Clapping with me. Beautiful. You can sing whichever one you want, and we'll see how they sound together. Good luck. We'll do it that way a couple of times through. So here we go. One, two, three. She'll be Mama Don't Allow No Hand Clapping here.